brought to you by DCP Player version 2, available now. Hello, this is James Garden of the Sydney Tech Geek, and today I'm on actually on the Christie stand and I'm showing a new product that they've got called the Duo. And I've got Brad here from Hoyt Cinema Services, or Hi. yes, um, Cinema, Technology Cinema, Group. Cinema Technology Group, and he's actually done the first install. Is that the first install in the world? I believe it's the first uh, installation in the field, yes. Fantastic. Now he's going to tell us a bit about it. He's installed one, so I thought he'd be the best person to talk to about it. Now my first question would be is, why do this over just doing the normal double ganging, like one on top of the other? Uh, with one projector ref uh, reflecting off the mirror, it gives you the opportunity to adjust the optics of that second image to perfectly match the first image. It also allows you to get the two lenses or the two images closer together optically so that they're easier to converge on screen. So when you're doing a double stack 2D you need the images to overlap perfectly across the entire screen. It's quite easy to get the middle of the screen to converge but to get all four corners to also converge can be quite difficult and with all the adjustments on the mirror you can you can adjust uh, the image to fit perfectly. Well, if you've mentioned the adjustments on the mirror so I think we'll, we'll quickly um, have a quick look at that so the mirror at the moment's got a protective layer on here. It's not. It's it's got a. What's the percentage uh, reflectivity of the mirror again? I believe it's about 97% reflective because the mirror surface is on the front of the glass rather than on the back like a normal mirror. So the light doesn't have to pass through the glass. It just reflects straight off. Okay. So this is glass with a very the, the very reflective mirror. And so these are all the adjustments which allows you to warp the glass That's to correct. exactly match the image of the first projector. That's correct, yeah. So you may not think the glass would be that flexible to be able to do that, but some of these adjustments can move the image, you know, a couple of meters up and down on the screen. So by uh, locking three of them down, it gives the others the ability to warp various parts of the mirror in different directions. And it was basically a couple of days of trial and error and fine tweaking and adjusting to get it to match up perfectly. Now, just that's fantastic. Now, let's quickly talk about when and why you would use this solution. First of all, um, off the top of my head, for big, big, big screens Absolutely. and for 3D. So is that, is that basically where you mostly use this or is there any other reason? Uh, definitely for big, big screens where you need lots and lots of light. That, that's the main reason you'd use it. So our cinema at Blacktown is a uh, 28.1 metre wide image in scope and uh, we just couldn't light that up with one projector. Uh, so with two, we're using two Christie 4230 projectors. Um, it's your 4K? 4K, yep. And we've got a 6K lamp in each projector and uh, at 100% power we can get 16 foot lamberts across the whole image in, um, in 2D. So uh, really bright image, really spectacular image in fact, it looks amazing. So do you actually plan to do any 3Ds using these systems as well in the future or? Uh, we don't currently have any plans. Um, to do 3D, you, there's quite a lot of stuff here already in the optics and to fit in a 3D polarizer um, can be a bit of a challenge. So you have to get your ports enlarged and you know there's, there's all sorts of problems with that that we haven't tackled yet at Blacktown. Um, we could do that, but at the moment we don't have any plans to do that. We also have a big screen at Sylvia Park in New Zealand, which is uh, about 30 metres, and we plan to do another Christie Duo installation there um, in the near future. Well, thank you very much for um, telling us about your install and this um, quite a spect like a very uh, you know quite impressive looking device there. It looks amazing. Yes, yeah, it does. Yes. It looks pretty good. <laughs> anyway, the image on screen looks amazing as well as the setup. Itself. Oh, I'd love to see a screen. I've I haven't really seen a screen that big before, so I'd, I'd love to go and see something like that soon. Yeah. But anyway, thank you for watching Cine Cinema Tech Geek, and uh, I hope you've enjoyed uh, our look into all the different technologies coming out for your cinema, and hope you hope to see you in some future videos. Thank you. Bye for now.